Should I name my children as beneficiaries under my life insurance policy? We never recommend naming a minor child as a beneficiary of any asset, whether it's life insurance or retirement accounts or any other type of asset. The reason is, is that if you as the asset owner pass away and leave it to a minor child, that minor child legally is the owner, but also legally can't be in charge of that asset on their own. So what that means is the court would actually step in and appoint somebody to be in charge of that asset until your child reaches the age of 18. So what that means is that somebody other than you, a court or a judge, is making decisions. They're saying who is in charge of the asset when it's being held for the minor. As part of your estate plan, you can make that choice ahead of time. So you're not relying on a judge to choose. So if you name a minor child as a beneficiary, you're leaving it up to chance who the judge will choose to manage the asset, to make decisions on how to invest funds appropriately, and ultimately how to spend those funds on your children. And beyond that, if you did leave it up to the judge to decide, then when the child turns 18, they're going to receive all of the assets outright. So if it's a million dollar life insurance policy, when your child turns 18, they're going to get a million dollars or whatever's left of the policy after the person in charge of it manages it. At 18, that asset is handed over to the child with no more adult oversight. So it might not be a good thing for an adult that young to have that much money at their disposal all at once. They might end up using it in ways that you never wanted or anticipated. And you'd want to make sure that it was preserved for things like buying a home or a wedding or going to grad school, that kind of thing. I think it's really important for me to help clients make sure that they're not naming a minor child as a beneficiary, as it's not the best route to go.